Aloha. Welcome to Cluster B Free Karen. Thank you for listening. Please leave a like if you find something of value. And subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. It will help the channel grow and this video play in people's feed that aren't familiar with this channel. Narcissistic women. Mothers, friends, family members, co-workers, business partners. They're here. Many men know this because they've married narcissistic women or they have a narcissistic girlfriend. Women have that friend that pretends to be their friend but sticks the knife in their back when they can, uses them. Many children grow up with a toxic mother, a narcissistic mother, not knowing that's what the problem is. The child has been mistreated since birth, played against perhaps another sibling. The sister or the brother is the golden child and the other daughter or son is what we call the scapegoat. That golden child can do no wrong and the scapegoat gets it no matter what. What happens is you wind up growing up and as an adult, you're still trying to get your mother's love. You're still trying to please her. That's not possible. Look at the DSM-5. Some of you are aware of narcissism. For others of you, this is a beginning journey. This is a whole new concept. You don't want to believe that this is true about the person that brought you into the world. But it is. Do you find no matter what you do, you're not rewarded, you're not loved? Do you try to do good things for that person and they snap at you, they rage at you, or they make a sarcastic remark? Does your friend betray you at every opportunity and then smile in your face and pretend everything is wonderful and she didn't do what she just did? Is your coworker a gossiping woman? stealing your projects, things going missing around the job? Do you walk up on a group of people and that so-called female friend of yours is looking at you and smiling, meanwhile the other co-workers are giving you the side eye? You're going through this, you're dealing with a narcissistic woman, generally a covert narcissist. They do gaslighting. They revise history. They pretend everything's okay and that you're the one that's crazy. They will say that you're lying on them. When you try to talk to them about a problem, they deny that it's happening. That's that gaslighting, deflecting. You try to bring an issue to them, to your mom, and she'll deflect that remark by talking about something you did wrong in the third grade. Your co-worker, your business partner, church members, it doesn't matter. Narcissistic women are treacherous, selfish. They don't care who they hurt, yet they smile in your face and pretend that everything's okay. You see, that's what sets up that cognitive dissonance and that brain fog because they act like things are great and then treat you like they're not. As a daughter or a son, you're often afraid to cut the ties, to bring up really what's going on wrong and refuse to participate in your own narcissistic abuse. You may not know that's what you're dealing with, but it is nevertheless. Please go to the DSM-5s. Find out how many traits your friend, your coworker, your business partner, your mother, your fellow church member, that gym partner. Find out how many things that she is doing, refusing to be accountable for things that she's done, revising the history. Their favorite is gaslighting. You tell them what's going on. Do you know that gaslighting 
constantly a lifetime of it leads to brain damage. It leaves you afraid to challenge that individual. And when you do work up the nerve to challenge them, they deny, they give you silent treatment. That's passive aggressive behavior. Think about that. Someone that's grown and refuses to speak to you in the same house, on the same job, in the same church, where ordinarily they would be talking to you, they're refusing to speak to you like a five-year-old. See, these people are emotionally immature. These narcissistic women are children in adult bodies. If you're trying to get the love and cooperation of a narcissistic woman who's a mother or a friend or a boss, you are wasting your time. The older they get, the worse they get. They will subject you to disease, danger, range fe rage fests, passive aggressive behavior, smear campaign. They will tell your family members that you're all kinds of awful. They will talk about your partner. They'll talk about your children and how you're abusing them, how you're abusing them as a mother or a sister or a friend. They're projecting. Projection is confession. Learn about this phenomena. Grow. Take your steps. Gain your freedom. Yes, you're going to go through some painful times. Yes, you need education so that you understand what you're dealing with. This is especially hard when it's a family member. But understand, in nature, the female is usually the deadlier of the species. So if you have someone that's showing narcissistic traits, behavior, or outright narcissistic personality disorder, we can't diagnose, but we can discern that you see that they've got five or more of those qualities as listed in the DSM-5, the manual that the psychiatrists have written out to show you what the diseases, or rather the disorders are of mental behavior, understand all the prayer in the world can go to naught. God can do 